Padasso Medical Center is a medical organization that operates two university hospitals at Ankarim and Mount Scopus in Jerusalem, Israel, as well as schools of medicine, dentistry, nursing, and pharmacology affiliated with the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. Its declared mission is to extend a hand to all, without regard for race, religion or ethnic origin, history. The hospital was founded by Hadassah, the Women's Zionist Organization of America, which continues to underwrite a large part of its budget today. The medical center ranks as the sixth largest hospital complex in Israel. Across its two campuses, Hadassah Medical Center has a total of 1,000 beds, 31 operating theaters and nine special intensive care units, and runs five schools of medical professions. In 1918, Hadassah established the American Zionist Medical Unit, manned by 45 medical health professionals. The AZMU helped to establish six hospitals in Palestine which were then turned over to municipal authorities. The Mir Rothschild Hospital opened in Jerusalem in 1918. That year, Hadassah also founded a nursing school to train local personnel and create a cadre of nurses. In 1919, Hadassah organized the first school hygiene department in Palestine to give routine health examinations to Jerusalem school children. During the Arab riots of 1920, Hadassah nurses cared for the wounded on both sides. Henrietta's old moved to Jerusalem that year to develop community health and preventive care programs. In 1921, a Hadassah nurse, Bertha Landsman, set up the first Tippet Halid perinatal care center in Jerusalem, and Hadassah opened a hospital in Tel Aviv. The following year, it established a hospital in Haifa. In 1926, Hadassah established the first tuberculosis treatment center in Saft. In 1929, Hadassah opened the Nathan and Lena Strauss Health Center in Jerusalem. In the 1930s, planning began for a new hospital to replace the Rothschild Hospital founded in 1888 on Street of the Prophets, Jerusalem. Rose L. Halprin, Hadassah's sixth national president, moved to Jerusalem to serve as liaison between the American office and Hadassah in Palestine. The Rothschild Hadassah University Hospital, the first teaching hospital and medical center in Palestine, opened on May 9, 1939. The Hadassah Medical Organization operated an infirmary in Hebron. The Beit Hadassah Clinic had three floors with the infirmary, the pharmacy and the synagogue on the top floor. Free care was provided to Jews and Arabs. The British Royal Commission, known as the Peel Commission, praised the work of Hadassah in its report. The Hadassah Medical Organization has developed a widespread system of clinics in Jewish centers and hospitals in the principal towns, though, naturally the Jewish population benefited most. The Hadassah medical services were available to all the communities in Palestine and many of the poorer classes amongst the Arabs received much assistance from the work of the organization. This disinterested philanthropy of Hadassah deserves recognition. It was a real step towards the promotion of good feeling between the two races, but unhappily the effect of its work was impaired by other influences. In 2005, Hadassah was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize in acknowledgement of its equal treatment of all patients, regardless of ethnic and religious differences, and efforts to build bridges to peace. French baritone David Serrero has performed several concerts at the hospital in 2011, 2012 and 2013 for Israelis and Palestinians' children. He is the young president of the organization in France. Due to an accumulated deficit of over 1 billion NIS, at the request of the medical center's management, the Israeli court declared three months of suspension of proceedings starting February 2014. The Hadassah organization was established in 1912 in New York City to provide health care in Ottoman-occupied Jerusalem. In 1913, Hadassah sent two nurses to Palestine. They set up a small public health station in Jerusalem to provide maternity care and treat trachoma, a dreaded eye disease rampant in the Middle East. 
Mount Scopus Campus. The cornerstone for the Hadassah Hospital on Mount Scopus was laid in 1934. After five years of construction, the complex, designed by architect Terek Mendelssohn, opened its doors in 1939. In March 1947, the leader of the Arab forces in Jerusalem, Abd al-Qadir al-Husseini, threatened to blow up the hospital. He did not do so, but attacks were carried out on traffic to and from the hospital. On April 13, 1948, an armored convoy of doctors, nurses, medical students, and other staff made its way to the hospital. The group was ambushed, and 78 people were killed in what became known as the Hadassah Medical Convoy Massacre. Under the 1949 armistice agreement with Jordan, Mount Scopus was declared a demilitarized enclave and operation of the hospital became impossible. The staff moved to temporary quarters in Jerusalem and eventually a new campus was built in Ain Karim. After the unification of Jerusalem in the Six-Day War, Hadassah Mount Scopus underwent extensive renovations, reopening in 1975. With over 300 beds and 30 departments and clinics, the hospital serves all populations in Jerusalem without distinction. Over one-third of the patients are Arab. In 2011, the Israeli-American actress Natalie Portman, who was born at Hadassah Mount Scopus, starred in a fundraising campaign for the hospital, and Karim Campus. From 1948 to 1962, Hadassah Hospital operated in rented quarters in five different locations in Jerusalem, including what is now the Anglican International School on Street of the Prophets in Jerusalem. In 1961, a new medical complex was built in Ain Karim in southwest Jerusalem under the direction of then-Director General Kalman Mann. The Hadassah Women's Zionist Organization of America again assisted with funding, and the somewhat out-of-the-way location was chosen in part because an appropriate site was difficult to obtain in the city center, and Hadassah owned a large plot in Ain Karim. The hospital was designed by Joseph Neufeld, a pioneer of international-style architecture in Israel. Prior to the opening of a 19-story hospital tower in 2012, Hadassah Ein Karim had 700 inpatient beds. The hospital complex consists of 22 buildings, including the Hebrew University of Jerusalem Schools of Medicine, Dentistry, Nursing, Public Health and Pharmacology. Hadassah's director is Professor Yuval Weiss. Notable physicians include Avraham Rivkind, founder and director of the hospital's trauma center, Ahmed Eid, head of the liver and kidney transplant unit, and Ariel Dad, head of the Department of Plastic Surgery and Burns Unit. In March 2007, Jewish-American billionaire William Davidson donated $75 million to the hospital. In 2012, the Sarah Wetzman Davidson Hospital Tower opened with 500 beds and 20 operating theatres. In 2008 Prime Minister John Key of New Zealand made a donation to the hospital. In April 2009, following an initiative of the Pua Institute, the hospital opened a fertility clinic for AIDS patients. The first such clinic in Israel, Professor Shlomo Mayan heads the clinic. Shagal Windows The Ein Karim Campus Synagogue is illuminated by stained glass windows depicting the Twelve Tribes of Israel, created by Mark Shagal. Shagal envisaged the synagogue as a crown offered to the Jewish Queen, and the windows as jewels of translucent fire. The windows were installed February 1962. At the dedication ceremony, Shagal said, A stained glass window is a transparent partition between my heart and the heart of the world. To read the Bible is to perceive a certain light, and the window has to make this obvious through its simplicity and grace. The thoughts have nested in me for many years, since the time when my feet walked on the Holy Land. 
When I prepared myself to create engravings of the Bible, they strengthened me and encouraged me to bring my modest gift to the Jewish people, that people that lived here thousands of years ago. New Entrance Pavilion in 2012 A new Glaston Entrance Pavilion opened at the foot of the Davidson Tower which funnels all traffic entering the hospital. Alongside the building are four healing gardens, planned by Shlomo Aronson employing the principles of biophilic design which posits that nature and vegetation impact positively on human health. Notable alumni, Ari S. Eldergrun, director of the UCLA Institute of Urologic Oncology and is professor-in-chief of urologic oncology at the David Geffen School of Medicine. Rivka Karmai, pediatrician, geneticist, president of Ben Gurion University of the Negev, Aaron Chekhanova, biologist and Nobel laureate in chemistry. Avram Hershko, Hungarian-born Israeli biochemist and Nobel laureate in chemistry. Emmanuel Margoliash, biochemist.